Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of the tenants, so let's dive in. We're still working on the playing for high stakes achieve. Achieve financial liquidity before you move to the new district. Reach a monthly cash flow of $12,000. Lucy Ponce, St. Lucia Street, one. 431 seems to be the highest paying job. Looking for someone to design a family apartment preferred with experience in children's rooms. Requirements total makeover budget $14,350. The payment will be $6,100. Let's head on over to St. Lucia Street 1431. Here we are at St. Lucia Street 1431. Let's begin cleaning. Here you go, Uncle Steve. You can clean up that. You can try to repair this bureau thing and you can try to repair this television. I was hoping we could put it in player storage, but we can't. Hey, Uncle Steve, you can head on out. Doesn't look to be that there's anything else you can do. Let's begin renovating this family apartment. They want us to focus on the required furnishing and the walls. They don't mind the first impression. They also look like they have some preferred furnishing of piano and darts. Snag that right away because that's a big chunk of change. I'm going to put the piano over here. I'm just going to put that there for now. Louise Carlson sent us the money. Thank you, Louis. I'm thinking of making the bathroom right in the front of the house. Let's put this $40 floor down. They want us to focus on the walls. We could do crazy patterns in the bathroom. They need a bathtub and a washing machine in here. They want us to focus on the required furnishings. I'm going to give them this $750 washing machine. I'm going to give them this $799 bathtub. Can I put it up against the wall? I can. I'm going to give them this fancy sink. I'm just going to give them the pigeon toilet. I'm going to move the bathtub. I'll do the laundry room area over here. I'm going to give him this $30 laundry basket. Going down really fast on our budget. They want a towel rack. I'll do give him this $189 towel rack. I'll give him this $49 toilet paper. We give him the $45 toilet brush. And I'm going to give him this $35 plunger. Let's head off to the bedroom. They want a what? A television in here? Agnes Gentry just sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. I'm going to put the television in this room on top of this table thing. The bedroom, they want carpeting and they want red walls. So we'll give them this red carpeting. I am going to give them this $50 wall. I'm going to give them this $699 double bed. They want a DVD player. I don't think I can put the DVD player in here. I'll just put it on the floor over here. They want DVDs. I'm going to give them this stack of DVDs, which I can't put there either. I'm going to sell this. I'm just going to give them this TV stand, TV on it. The DVD player in it. They want this footsteps painting in here. The bank has charged and collected a total of $8,499 to cover the monthly installment of one of our active loans. Thank you for your cooperation. They want this really big painting in here. I don't even know if we could fit this in here. Can we fit this in here? Yeah, it's not even going to fit in here. We're not putting that painting in there. We'll put more Miss Gorgeous near the bed. That is all that needs to be done in the bedroom. Let me just check our design. We're 99% in that bedroom. We're 100% in the bathroom. Let's go off to bedroom with bunk beds. They want carpeting and red walls. We'll just match the kids room and the parents room. But we're not going to put the $50 wall in there. We'll put this deep orange in the children's room. Bunk bed. We'll put this right in the middle of the room. They want a desk. Oh, my heater stopped working and I'm literally starting to freeze. Could you do something about it? I'll send in a pro. We'll give them this brown office desk because the foldable desk that I was going to give them is a little bit cheap. Thanks, I can walk around my apartment without a scarf. You're welcome. We'll give them the coal armchair. They want a picture in here. We'll give them the little party never killed no one. Let's go off to the kitchen. They want tile and yellow walls. Let's give them this $40 tile. I'm going to move this dartboard into the kids' room. I'll put it right here. I'm going to give them the latte walls. We are running out of cash really fast. I'm going to sell this couch. We will do this $749 cooker. Yikes to the power of two. Caught a whiff of that unit of yours as I was walking down the street and it reeks bad. Call your Uncle Steve or, or what's his face and get on top of that mess this ASAP. Building manager. All right, I'll send in Uncle Steve right away. Hey, Uncle Steve. Th these women are are filthy. I don't know why they... Oh, because we don't have trash cans in this game. So they just throw their stuff on the ground. Hey, Uncle Steve, you're doing a great job. Thanks for helping me solve that problem, says the building manager. No problem. Uncle Steve is the man. Let's get back over to St. Lucia Street and continue our renovation of the family apartment. Refrigerators are pricey. We can't even afford a refrigerator. So I'm wondering what we can do about this. 
We can sell this lie detector. Thank you, Zara, for sending me money for the period. We're gonna put in this $999 refrigerator. They want a kitchen sink. I'm gonna give them this $339 kitchen sink. And they want a kitchen cabinet. I'm gonna give them this $249 kitchen cabinet. They want a motivational poster. We'll just give them our standard. Did you smile today? Right near the piano. We have $550 remaining. Amy McCulloch just sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Amy. Back bedroom has a 10%. This front kitchen is 45%, so we should probably do something in that back bedroom. Maybe we could do some plants in the kids' room. Put this easel in the kids' room. See, I don't think those things do anything. We need decor in the kids' room. We could put these life's advice books in the kids' room. We could put this cactus mug in here. A smiley face on it. Kids might like that. Put this Rubik's Cube in here. You know, kids might play with that. 32%. We'll put the $130 light over the bunk bed so the kids can read. That's 50% put a light over the sink area. I suppose I could get a lesser quality washing machine. I'll do the $499 washing machine. We're down to 412, 50% and 55%. I was going to give them a kitchen table, but you know what? I think I'm gonna just give them a bar stool. 64%, we could do a welcome mat. Welcome to our little tiny apartment that has really bad decor. We are at 64% still. There's not really much we can do in this children's room. They still didn't give us toys for the kids' room. I'll put a plant right there, 69%. Put a plant in the kitchen right here on the way to the bedrooms. I'll do this $49 wall clock over the stove. We're at 77% and 69%. Let's see if there's any little small thing we can do in the kids' room, just up there, braiding a bit. Lauren Middleton sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Lauren. We could do a fern over here in the corner. And we got $13 remaining. I don't think there's anything we can do for $13. So I'm going to deliver the job. Here comes the individual who hired us to do the apartment for the family. They're looking at the dartboard in the children's room and they're thinking, oh, they love it. They're going off into the kitchen and they're looking at the range and they're thinking, this is a meh range. I didn't really like the range. Looking at Lady with Ermine, and he sort of likes it. Looking at the overall design of the apartment and he just loves it. Let's hope that shows in our rating. Uh, we unlocked new items and we leveled up. Let's take a look at our review. We are level 21, Smitty. Here is our review. Lucy Ponce. We got five stars. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. It's better than I could have imagined. Some extra cash for extra work. Required furnishings? Well, we only got four stars. Cheap furnishings were used. Miss Gorgeous Painting. Items could have been more fashionable. Coco Kitchen Cabinet. Preferred furnishings? We had no issues with we got five stars. Floors were five stars. Walls were five stars. Decor, five stars. But decor could have used more work in the bedroom and the kitchen. And the first impression was four stars because cheap furniture was used. Miss Gorgeous Painting. We did get a bonus of $1,220 and our total payout for that job was $7,320. It looks like we got a point for our skill tree. So let's see what we can do here. We can unlock a six month lease. We can unlock six more player storage units. We we could unlock a fourth bank offer. We could unlock video games. We could unlock gifts of brownies, pizza, hamburger, sushi, and energy drinks. Increase Uncle Steve's repair chance by 10%. Uncle Steve's cleaning speed. Increase tenant happiness when solving problems manually with Uncle Steve. And increase Uncle Steve's walk speed by 10%. I'm going to do increase tenant happiness bonus when solving problems manually with Uncle Steve. Let's take a look at our finances. Looks like Declan has not paid his rent. We're going to remind him politely. Everyone else seems to be paying. He says, sorry, I got no money. Okay. Sorry, you got no money. Excellent. Let's see if I can do anything else with you. I can't do anything with him. Agnes Gentry says, listen up. We got a situation here with a leaky pipe or something. Water spraying out of control. Can you do something about this mess? Yeah, I'll send in a pro. And she just sent us the money for the period. So she's doing good. Let's take a look at our tenant's happiness. Maybe we we can work on some of this before I go off to do another job. Well, Lewis is pretty happy. Uh, Zara looks to be the one that is the lowest. So let's go over and take a look at Zara Briggs. I gave her something recently. It looks like this place is a mess. Let's begin cleaning in here. Come on, Uncle Steve. Excellent. Uncle Steve, you can head on out. And let me take a look at Zara Briggs. She likes classic literature. So give her a classic book. Maybe that will improve her rating with us. She's trying to go to the bathroom and they're both going to the bathroom on top of each other. I guess they're very close roommates. She just got up and she's like, hey, I'm trying to go to the bathroom, but you're going to the bathroom. 
Declan just sent us the overnew money. Thanks, Declan. Waiting to see the gift get here. But it doesn't look like it's getting here. So I'm going to look for another job. Ooh, we got one for $7,150. Let's see what that one is. Brendan Stafford at Wilson Avenue, 608. I need a smart designer to build a regular family apartment. It's like we're doing apartments today. Total makeover required. Budget is $14,050. And it looks like our gift was delivered to Zara. Oh, she's happy. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for the gift. So let's see if that improved our rating. Oh, she's still 50. Didn't improve our rating very much. Head on over to Wilson Avenue, 608. Here we are at Wilson Avenue. We're going to send Uncle Steve in to begin cleaning. Uncle Steve, it doesn't look like there's anything else for you to do. Why don't you head on out? Amy McCulloch sent us money for the period. Thank you, Amy. Sup, bro? Would be pretty cool if you could run some renovation work on this crib what do you say you could put some music equipment in my bedroom sure let's do it great right, i knew i could count on you but let's get back to renovating this family apartment we have to focus on the required furnishing and the preferred furnishing they don't mind the walls let's start with the bathroom they want a bathtub and a washing machine i'm gonna do this room as the bathroom they want tile we'll do this check tile they want yellow walls they don't really mind the walls we'll do latte walls We'll give them this $499 washing machine right here. Give them a laundry basket. Get off with that right there. I'm going to give them a $719 bathtub. They want a toilet. I'm just going to give them the pigeon toilet. Laura Middleton sent us the money. Thank you, Lauren. I'm just going to do this $249 sink. They want a towel rack. I'm going to give them this $189 towel rack. They want a toilet brush. I'll put the toilet brush there. They they want toilet paper. I'll give them this $49 toilet paper. And they want a plunger. We will do the $35 plunger. I'm going to do the bedroom in this room over here. Okay, we want a television and a double bed. $699 double bed. They want hardwood floors. I'm going to give them $40 hardwood floors. They want green walls. I'm just going to give them a $45 green wall. I'm going to give them this $325 television stand. Lewis Carlson just sent us money for the period. Thank you, Lewis. I'm going to give them the $999 television. They want a DVD player. Put that in here. We'll give them the bigger stack of DVDs. They want a painting. We'll give them stripes this time. They didn't like Miss Gorgeous last time. We'll go off to the children's bedroom. Oh, they want an easel and a chessboard. Just put that right here for now. They want a chessboard. Can I put that on this thing? No, I can't. We'll just put the chessboard on the ground for now. We did the preferred furnishings. They want a carpet and gray walls. I'm going to do this $45 carpet. Give them some $45 gray walls. It's a kid's room. They want a bunk bed. We'll do the bunk bed this way. They want a desk. I'll give them this $399 desk. I'm going to give them the $399 desk chair. Amy McCulloch is wondering if we could upgrade the internet or TV subscription. Sure, why not? I'm just made of money. I'm going to give them the ancient bird picture. Oh, thanks. It's working much better now. I'm going to put the easel in the children's room. I could put the chessboard in there too, right there on their desk. So we're now in the kitchen. They want hardwoods and blue walls. We will do this $40 floor. Agnes Gentry sent us money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. We want blue walls in the kitchen. I'm going to do the $60 blue wall. And I usually do the kitchen over here in this corner, so I think I'm going to do the kitchen along this wall. I'm going to give them a $999 fridge. I'll put it right here. I'm going to give them this $399 kitchen sink. They want a kitchen cabinet. They want this blue one, so I'll give them that. It doesn't match but that's okay and they want a cooker they want this $1,050 cooker provided by the client they want a motivational poster I'm gonna do work hard get out there and work hard got $1,200 remaining I'm gonna do this $299 table I'm gonna pick up that chessboard and move it onto this table a sand chair there and a sand chair there a sand chair here and a sand chair there. Now we have four chairs and the kitchen's only at 42%. Do life's advice books in the kids room. We could do uh, this Super Ma Farmio painting. Declan McLean just sent us the money for the period. Thank you Declan. Let's see if that helps at all. That's 32% and 42%. We only have $458 uh, dollars remaining. Do a rubber plant here in the corner. Ooh, they got a clock in here provided for by the client. We could put that in here and they wanted this ugly owl plushie which we don't have money for. I suppose I can sell this. Would that give us money for the ugly plushie? It would. Let me put 
the ugly plushie over the desk. I want to hang up here, but it won't let me. I can hang it right there. We've used all the money possible, so I'm delivering the job. They're going into the bathroom, and they're looking at the toilet roll holder, and they're thinking, oh, they love this toilet roll holder. Going into the bedroom, and they're looking at the TV stand. They like it. They're going back into the bathroom and they're looking at the laundry basket and they're thinking, why do you get this laundry basket? Looking at the overall design of the apartment. They love the overall design of the apartment. Let's check out our review. Brendan Sanford at Wilson Avenue, 608. We got five stars. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. It's better than I could have imagined. Here's a tip for good work. Hard furnishings, we only got four stars. Items could have been more fashionable. That shoal cabinet that they really wanted. They really didn't want. Preferred furnishings, five stars, no issues. Floors, five stars, no issues. Walls, five stars, no issues. Decor, five stars. The room's got poor decor in the kitchen. Decor could have used some more work in the bedroom. First impression, four stars. Bonus was $1,430. Our total payout for that job was $8,580. Let's take a look to see if our people are paying their rent on time. That looks like they are. Dara, even though we gave her a present, their rating is starting to slip. We have a wannabe pop star over on Ferry Street. I'm going to clean up this apartment before we do anything in here. Will Steve clean up the pizza boxes and the mess? And you can head on out, Uncle Steve. Could you put some music equipment into my bedroom? Trying to pick up a new hobby. I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode, we will renovate the bedroom for the wannabe pop star. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.